Hi, my name is Danielle. I'm from Borden and Riley Paper, and I want to tell you a little bit about my company. It's a family-owned business, and my father is the one who used to be sweep the floors back in the day when he was in his teens. And eventually, when they hear the people who own the company had no one to leave it to, so they left it to him. And then he eventually met my mother, and then my sister and I are in the company along with my husband, and my mother is the CEO. This, our number 280, which is one of our sketchbooks, is actually my father on the cover. So that was him, Robert Woodward. So I want to tell you about some of our products that I really enjoy. One is our 234 Paris paper. This is one of our Bristol papers. It's, a, like, it's one of our best sellers and it's used for pens and markers. But another one that I really enjoy is our 116. This is the mini format. This also comes in many, like eight different ones of our pads. They're a mini spiral, they're artist trading card size. And the cool thing about it is that they're micro perf, so you get to rip them out. But also, if you wanted to keep them and not have to commit to a larger size, you get to try all our different papers. This one is really good with graphite pencils, charcoals, and you can just use it in, in any way and you can put it in your little pocket. So it's good to travel everywhere. One of our favorite papers is our 880, and the cool thing about this one is that it's got two sides. One side's cold press, so it's going to be a little bit more rough, and the other side's hot press. So if you ever had a paper that you want, you know which texture you want, you have two in one, so you just flip it over, so it's pretty cool. And this comes in pads and rolls. Now, another project that we came up with was our 123. I really like it. I actually designed the cover. so. I'm obsessed with owls, and so if you look here, it really shows you the three different papers in one. We have tracing and sketch and bristle, and the way the pad is made up is in two different parts. The first part is tracing and sketch, and the last part is the bristle. Now, to show you, we have instructions for the artist to figure out how to use it. When you're younger and you learn how to draw, you first start out with your sketch paper, and you draw on the regular sketch. sketch. Once you're done with your artwork and you're ready to transfer it, you'd have to get your tracing paper. So back in the day, you would have to take tape and actually tape it down to the table so it made sure it didn't move around. This way, when you have the tracing paper collated, tracing sketch, tracing sketch, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So you just pull down the tracing paper, you outline your artwork, and then when you're ready to transfer, you have to shade the background. So you shade the back of the paper as it becomes a carbon copy. Then when you're done with that, you're gonna pull out the bristle that's in the back, which is our 234 that I spoke about before, and you slip it underneath, right under the tracing paper, and then you outline it again. So then you have everything from start to finish, from your sketch to the tracing transfer to the bristle you use your markers. And just in case I talk way too fast, you have all the instructions right here. That's my sister in the background, don't mind her. And then over here you'll see all the different papers in one. Other than that, let me see what I want to show you. Here are play pads. We did a re uh, collaboration with the Miami Tattoo Artist and from Miami Ink, and they had a brand called Ruthless and Toothless, and they came out with a line of sketch pad covers that had um, more of a tattoo in inspiration. So if you look over here, like for example, we have the Samurai, which is one of my favorite, and then we have the Octopus. Now these are all our sketch, they all have the same papers unlike the other mini spiral ones and they have different cool fun designs. So it's a little bit different for our style. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is our 35 series. This is our best selling product of all our line. This is great for architects and engineers and we have, this is our best seller. It comes in 12 inches to all the way up to 48. And the cool thing we came out with also recently is the little baby one, little mini, little baby. <laughs> These are great for on-site sketches, and this is our most popular paper. What makes us a little bit different is that we are a small company, and we try to be very personal and try to help out whoever is interested, whether it be an artist, I can direct them to where they want to be and what papers they're looking for, or our vendors. We want to be able to help you and try to work with you in any way whether it be pricing and customization you want a cool size you want a, like a random size we'll be able to work with you we try to help you because we know how it is to be a small company so either way if you are interested give me a call my name is Danielle so you remember when I told you I have a family business it really is in the family this is my husband Joe Hello. and this is my sister Joanna and if you were here earlier you would have met my mom who's a CEO so she's the one who tells us all what to do, and then we have my niece who has been the great little mascot for Born and Riley. We also work with my uncle who is the, the senior vice president, and we have other family members who have worked through the business throughout the years. But this is our team, mm -hmm. and hopefully you'll be able to give us a chance and work with us.